On the 20th of April 2023, all eyes will turn to Exmouth, a popular tourist destination along the sun-drenched northwest coast of Western Australia. On that date, for 62 seconds, the moon will totally obscure the blinding solar disk, plunging the 41 kilometre wide path of totality into darkness. This is one of nature's most spectacular events, a total solar eclipse. The action of the moon blocking out the full disk of the sun enables both professional and amateur astronomers to observe and study the solar chromosphere, the lower atmosphere of the sun, that is normally rendered invisible due to the extreme brightness of the sun's surface. It also reveals the spectacular corona, the outermost atmosphere of the sun. The sun is a star, which is kept shining by a natural thermonuclear fusion reactor at its heart. The sun is located approximately 150 million kilometers away from Earth. Even at this distance, we can feel its effects such as heat and intense light. However, there are other forms of electromagnetic radiation that can cause serious injury while observing a solar eclipse. The sun produces vast quantities of energy in various electromagnetic wavelengths, such as ultraviolet, visible light, and infrared. The ultraviolet radiation is responsible for sunburn if proper precautions are not taken when outside. If the partial phases of the solar eclipse are observed without the appropriate eye protection, the ultraviolet and infrared wavelengths can cause permanent damage to the eye in the form of solar retinopathy. The UV and IR wavelengths are focused through the lens in the eye onto the retina where they burn the receptors required to see. The damage of solar retinopathy will only be evident hours after observing the eclipse. Blurry vision, a central blind spot in one or both eyes, and headaches are just a few of these symptoms. There are two methods to observe the partial solar eclipse, direct and indirect techniques. Direct viewing requires specialist solar filters to protect the eye from the harmful radiation. Indirect uses simple yet effective techniques that do not require direct viewing of the sun. This is by far the safest way to witness this spectacle. Directly viewing the partial solar eclipse will require specialist solar filters that block out nearly 100% of the UV and IR wavelengths, along with 99.999% of visible light. These can come in the form of eclipse shades, specialist solar film or solar filters. These should meet the ISO or Australian standards and have appropriate standards printed on the side of the apparatus. It should also be purchased from a reputable manufacturer or dealer in astronomical optical equipment or astronomical observatory. Indirect viewing utilise simple yet safe pinhole cameras, camera obscurers, or live streaming services on the day of the event. On the day of the eclipse, no matter where you're observing it from, remember these simple rules. Never look directly at the sun or the partially eclipsed sun without the appropriate eye protection. Never look directly at the sun or partially eclipsed sun through a telescope, binoculars or a camera lens. Never use sunglasses, welding masks or goggles, overexposed photographic film or other non-approved filters to observe the partial eclipse. Only use approved eclipse glasses with the correct ISO standards. Never use eclipse glasses in conjunction with telescopes, binoculars or cameras. Always inspect your eclipse glasses for damage before use. If using approved eclipse glasses, supervise children at all times. And remember, observe at your own risk. The Exmouth 2023 eclipse promises to be a spectacular event. No matter where you're observing from, if done safely and correctly, it will be remembered for all the right reasons.